Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do anything. Hope you guys are doing well. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I figured I'd do a fun, quick uh, Christmas present haul with y'all and just catch up with you guys. We will be getting back to more consistent sneaker news style content and the end of year top 10 kind of recap videos as well, along with two different Japan vlogs for you guys. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd get this video up for you guys on Christmas. Also, if you haven't watched the channel in a while, now is a great time to unsubscribe to the channel if you're no longer interested in sneakers at all. Uh, but if you still want to see some of the fun lifestyle Japan vlog content and you know just lifestyle vlogs in general maybe me checking out them all for you so you don't have to then feel free to stay subscribed and I know I really haven't seen and talked to a lot of you guys in general so by watching this video you'll be able to find out where my interests currently lie when it comes to a lot of different things and uh, yeah let's have some fun Okay. let's start off with probably the most important gift when it comes to what you receive in the holiday season, and that is chocolates. And you might be wondering, what kind of chocolates are my favorites, especially during the holiday season? And that would be these things right here. I am a sucker for Ferrero Rocher. This stuff is just, oh, I just love it. It definitely gives me a lot of like nostalgic kind of vibes. This was a gift from my mom. I'm gonna be munching on these all holiday long. Next up, a gift from my sister. Uh, we have Enomia. This is a, I guess a board game, not board game, a card game of some sort. It looks interesting. We're gonna definitely play this, I think, during the holiday season when it comes to like the New Year's parties and stuff like that. I always enjoy having a, a large uh, selection of card games to choose from. I'm like known as that guy that will bring cool card games to different social gatherings. But another gift from my sister. I recently just ran out of my vanilla syrup. If you guys don't know, I love iced coffee. I am part of the iced coffee gang, loud and proud. Recently, I've been making it a lot from home, which is really nice. It also is very, very cost effective. And I typically use a uh, vanilla syrup with mine as well. And we just ran out today, but my sister got me a syrup I've never tried before. Kind of possibly in like the holiday festive spirit. We got hazelnut syrup right here. So very excited for this. If you guys uh, like making iced coffee, I'd love to hear your recommendations in the comments down below. Personally, I get this like Vietnamese iced coffee, which is really handy. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I make that every day. So it beats paying, uh, what, $3.50 for an iced coffee. I, I'm basically paying 30 to 40 cents for iced coffee from making it at home. So much savings, I love it. Let's keep it with a caffeinated theme, you could say. This was a gift from my sister's boyfriend, uh, Amir. We have my favorite flavor of Monster Energy Drink. My second favorite is probably that white one that's like sugar free. And then there's also a really cool like tropical punch, but Mango Loco is my favorite Monster Energy Drink. So I've got a nice little four pack right here. Go help. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Favorite, my favorite flavor of Monster. Is it your favorite? You can't have a wish list without books, right? I love reading. I love reading a lot of nonfiction and like self-help stuff and entrepreneurial kind of books. But I also do enjoy fiction stuff too. I'm a huge fan of manga. I actually have a really solid selection or collection of manga, which I'm not gonna get into now. But uh, I love Junji Ito. It was one of my favorite mangaka, like one of my favorite writers and illustrators as well in the, the manga game. So I have a pretty decent collection. But yeah, I love Junji Ito. They are a... Uh, not for the faint of heart kind of uh, manga reader. There's like a lot of horror kind of stuff. We have their latest, I believe latest book, uh, Soichi, which I'm very excited to read. I love reading manga. I love reading it on the bus towards uh, going going to like Pokemon tournaments and stuff like that. Sometimes it's not, it, sometimes it's just really nice to not be on your phone and really dive into a physical book. Uh, I do like reading audiobooks too, or listening to audiobooks. I love Junji Ito, so I'm very happy that I got their latest, their latest manga. Another gift I also got for Christmas from my mom and dad was this phone case right here. Very, very happy about it. It is a see-through phone case. I don't typically use a phone case, so uh, this is one that I specifically really wanted. So I got this. I can put a Pokemon card here too. And we also have a stand for watching YouTube videos and whatnot. So very, very practical. And you can flex whatever Pokemon cards you want on it. So I have an absolutely beautiful uh, specimen I get to look at, at my, uh, my wallpaper right here. And then you flip it around and oh my goodness, look at this beautiful, beautiful Pokemon card as well. Oh yeah, another gift I also got was this right here. This is a uh, a ladder shelf. So I kind of wanted a ladder shelf that I could use in my room. 
it's going to be holding a lot of my Pokemon decks and stuff like that, along with play mats and other uh, kind of goodies. So, uh, so yeah, very happy. We have the shelf. Here's a photo of what it's going to look like when I have it built. Now we're going to get to the more expensive gifts in a second, but we have a couple smaller things and clothing items I want to share with you guys that I got. So uh, my sister actually got me a small little Astro Boy blind box and um, I don't really know too much about Astro Boy. I just know it was like one of the OG like anime mangas of all times. And in the blind box was this right here. We have a, I think this is the, the female character, the girl character in it. So pretty cool blind box. I'm just gonna put this on my desk and uh, I guess it'll just remind me of my little sister whenever I see it, which is pretty cool. Next up, another gift from my sister, some clothing. Uh, typically I wear a lot of shirts. I wear a lot of hoodies. I wear a lot of finals, but sort of like polo, dressier, menswear kind of stuff. It's something I kind of would say I'm lacking in my uh, my wardrobe. So my sister picked this up right here. Uh, the brand is Denim and Flower by Ricky Singh. Not too familiar with the brand, but it looks like it's a really comfortable shirt and uh, very stylish, very easy and versatile to wear. Basically a polo shirt with a zipper going down the middle. So uh, kind of unique like that. I like how, how easy it is how easy it is going to be wearing this because uh, it is just so simple. So nights out and stuff like that, I now have a proper option other than my typical stuff I always have to wear or always usually wear. Now, if you're watching this on the main channel, you would know I get a lot of gifts and uh, goodies from a lot of big brands out there like Puma, Adidas, Foot Locker, uh, Nike, Converse. But if you're watching this on my Pokemon channel, you probably don't know this, but the brands love to show your boy love. Uh, and one brand that hasn't stopped showing me love even though I've become become much more inactive on the main channel. I'm still posting on Instagram a little bit here and there, but one brand that's always showed me love, which I always will love and appreciate is Puma. Uh, so Puma actually sent me their new collection that released on December 22nd. I'll leave affiliate links in the description down below if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. And uh, it is from this right here, the Puma and Dexter's Laboratory, Dexter's Lab collaboration. It's funny because I even referenced Dexter's Lab in my most recent regional vlog in San Antonio. I love Dexter's Laboratory, one of my favorite cartoons growing up, especially on Cartoon Network. They didn't send me the shoes this time around, but I'm super, super grateful for the clothing that they sent over because it is dope. So first off, let's get to the t-shirt. It is a Dexter's Laboratory shirt in this like nice, aqua blue kind of color right here. It says Dexter's Laboratory on the shirt with Dexter holding a basketball instead of like a test tube or anything like that. So pretty funny shirt. And then on the very back, you also have uh, some graphics as well. So when I'm playing volleyball and stuff, you can see basically a bunch of uh, a bunch of the sayings that uh, Dexter does say on the show. This hoodie is so loud. It's like this really bold neon green, I wanna say. Neon yellow, neon green. And uh, it says Dexter's Laboratory here, embroidered into the chest, really nice. On the bottom, it has some more kind of like, you know, that collegiate style uh, text right there. You got the Puma logo with another thingy on the bottom patch right there. And the sides are sick. You guys probably caught a peek of it, but it has that same uh, design on the back of that shirt, all on both sides of the sleeves. That is so sick. Okay, on, on one side, on, on one side. So not, not both, but one side. And on the very back, you have another Dexter's Lab graphic as well. So I'll show it to you guys right there. Very cool, love that. And there's no drawstrings on it, but it is this, it has that like the style with no drawstring. Very cozy, super, super high quality as well. Thank you Puma for the Dexter's Laboratory collab. This is probably my favorite item out of all of them because it's something I'll be able to get a lot of wear out of consistently whenever I go to the gym or whenever I go uh, to play volleyball. I am so hyped to wear these. This item you might be interested in as well. So again, I'll leave links down below. Uh, it retails for 90 bucks for these shorts, but they're the sickest basketball shorts, bro. Trust me, trust me. Look at this. Oh my goodness. These are so bold, so loud. Yo, oh, I love them. They kind of gave me like Mojo Jojo vibes from uh, from Powerpuff Girls for a second because of the, this, I guess, maybe the hat, that I don't know. The colors kind of remind me of like a 80s, 80s, 90s throwback kind of uh, era. And it's just, they're so sick. They're so bold. You'll be known as that person with these kind of shorts for sure if you do end up wearing them. You got some long, very long drawstrings down the middle. And then you also have some uh, some accents right there. The, or the what, lace tips, not lace tips. The things that dangle right there. That's there too. So very happy with these shorts. Uh, they have their zippers. Oh, 
Yes. Oh, even better. Black zippers on the side too. Even better. I love basketball shorts that have zippers on the side. It's just so functional. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you, Puma. Thank you to the friends over at Puma for sending over all this good stuff. Wait, Three more items to get to. This next one is a uh, a coupon that was inside of these uh, the Pokemon mini tins. Very handy way to you know deliver a coupon. I love when people give gifts and stuff, and it's like disguised as another gift kind of thing, or it's like a box within a box within a box. This time it wasn't too elaborate, but uh, my sister gave me a coupon, essentially a gift card for one haircut. And at first I was worried. Also, I just got a haircut literally, I think yesterday. Yeah, it was, it was either two days, it was two days ago. And uh, yeah, when I opened this up, I was like, oh God, is my sister gonna give me a haircut? She said that my barber shop that I go to, which is literally a three minute walk across the street from me, they actually don't sell gift cards. So it's basically like the next time I go get a haircut, just let her, let her know and she'll pay for it. So awesome. I love, I love haircuts. Who doesn't love a nice haircut? Haircuts can definitely uh, give give you a breath of fresh air, fresh life, make you feel good about yourself. It's basically a good haircut, and I don't really grow facial hair for beards and stuff, but a good haircut is like makeup for men. And uh, yeah, when you get that seasonal kind of depression, the small little things really add up. So getting that haircut, if, if you're feeling bad, haircut is gonna make you feel great, unless the haircut's really bad, and then you might feel worse. Two more gifts to get into. These were the most expensive gifts that I had on my wish list. The next item right here is the Logitech G733 headset. Now, I am a gamer. I'm a big gamer. Uh, the current headphones I'm using right here are some like razor ones. They also start to smell a little funny after many years of usage and a lot of uh, sweat. And also I would just like get a haircut or play volleyball and then start wearing these instead of getting a shower. So definitely some bacteria on this, whatever. But I was having issues with these headphones. They started acting up recently. I have like a, a blue Yeti microphone thing right here. I can I angle it. Yeah, I have this thing right there. Uh, and it recently broke, I believe. I think we had like a power surge or something like that. So it just doesn't even work anymore. I wanted new headphones and new headphones that would also have really great audio quality for the microphone. So when I get back to streaming, which is something I'm very excited to do, I'll be streaming a whole bunch. I'm gonna try and I'll, I'll try to get like a regular schedule of at least two to three streams per week pokemon card streams on the pokemon channel i'll be doing some video game streams on twitch for like overwatch and apex and uh on the main channel i don't know if i'll be doing much streaming on sneaker talking main channel but if you want to hang out with your boy live uh even if you don't play pokemon or the video games that i play we're just gonna have some have a fun time have a good time together nice new headphones with some rgb you know the gamers have to have the rgbs you know here uh, so very excited to, to start wearing these. Also, the audio quality on this is really nice. They actually use like blue technology, like the brand that makes these really nice microphones. They have like collaborated with Logitech on the microphones on these devices. So excited to use this. I'll be getting a lot of use out of this. Thank you to my mom and dad for, for giving me this. And then let's get to the last item, probably the most important item. The number one thing I had on my wish list, which I was, I'm very thankful that I got it. It is a new microphone for YouTube videos. Uh, recently, for the last four to five years, I've been using the Rode Video Microphone Pro Plus, which is a very expensive microphone, and it recently broke on me. And it's way past the warranty since I've had it for like four or five years. So, my parents got me this right here, the Shure VP83 Lens Hopper. And uh, this is another top tier microphone. And I know that because I used to use this microphone for YouTube videos like eight years ago. Before I switched over to that Video Road Microphone Pro Plus, I was using this exact microphone. And then I ended up selling this microphone to my boy Ian who has it now. So now we're back on the Shure. This one right here. So very excited to give you guys better audio quality. Right now we're using a microphone that I got from last Christmas, which is like a, it's like a Diety Duo microphone. So you, it's great for interviews because there's a microphone uh, your mouth, but also a microphone going forwards. So I'm still gonna use that microphone for when I do like interviews and stuff with people, but very happy to get this brand new microphone for all my YouTube videos. Comment down below your favorite thing about the holiday season or whatever you got for Christmas that you uh, really enjoyed receiving or a gift you gave to somebody as well. Catch you guys at Comfy Hobbies at uh, Tuesday's Pokemon card tournament. Check out their sale. I'll leave them linked down below. And my memory card says it's full, so hopefully it's recording this. I'll catch you guys in the next video.